Big victory for Rovers, of course. 3-1 winners at Carrow Road. Would you, Adam Wharton and Evit? Uh, yes, big win for the, for the Rovers, moving up to 10th in the table. Uh, and, of course, Norwich City uh, probably looking for a new manager, of course. That's right, Wagner was already in, uh, under pressure. And now Rovers seem to have sealed his fate. With only one week to go before the international break, do they make the decision now? Do they give him a, a stay of execution for one more week? Uh, because if they do, I think they're going to be painting over the cracks. I, 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 think, I think they're going to be looking uh, at the decision of whether or not he will be at charge for the next game. And that's, of course, a story for them to make. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Rovers, though. Fantastic stuff. 3-1 win in the end. Uh, and a, in a match that uh, kind of flattered uh, Norwich a little bit. Um, I think I think we could have comfortably won this 4 or 5 nil if uh, if we didn't play the second half. Basically, I think the first half was fantastic. Rovers, a goal from Tyree Stone. And not only a goal, but we also saw a backflip to, 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 to match. Uh, of course, if you haven't seen it, check out my Twitter. It's got that on there right here, right now. Then Smodic. It was the Smodic. So a couple of goals for him uh, in the first half. Uh, he got himself one second half, of course, added uh, to the tally to make it 3-0. Uh, of course, one was a great uh, hard-working effort. The other one, uh, just uh, tapping at home uh, as well. We could have had more, and, uh, and, and we probably should have had more, but a, uh, a decision by the referee cost us dearly. Scotty Wharton taking out the last man. Uh, of course, the, I, I felt it was a little harsh to be a red card. I think a, a yellow card would have sufficed. Um, but we'll see if, if Rovers uh, argue the, the matter. And of course, uh, at the moment, at the moment, uh, he will be banned uh, for the game against Preston, which is a bit of a, uh, a major negative for Rovers because we don't have much in regards to defensive ranks at the minute. I think Carter will be back. Suspension. Uh, Alexa, kill it. Stop it. Bloody Alexa, interrupting me every bloody day. Alexa, stop. You heard. Stop. Yeah, I'm shutting them up. Alexa, we're being rude. Uh, anyway, a big win for Rovers, 3-1, three, three, of course. Yes, Scotty Warren sent off, red missed. Um, I think it was a little bit harsh. So hopefully they'll, they'll appeal it, because if so, he'll be back. James Hill will be back. Carter should return as well from, uh, from his uh, suspension as well. Meanwhile, the goal from Norwich came as Norwich was trying to find uh, use uh, the best part of the second half to find uh, an opening in a Rovers. Uh, but uh, Rovers did their, their, their very best. Or JDT did his Jose Mourinho impression and Park the block. Body boss Rovers uh, held firm, didn't give Norwich too many opportunities. They did have a couple of a couple of chances to to, to break the deadlock, uh, but that was finally broken with Sara putting the ball in the back of the net following a, a, a flappy save from um, from Wildstadt uh, right to the to the feet of of Sarah, who did add a goal. But that goal was a little too late. Um, but Rovers held on firm with a monster win. Now, let's not underestimate this win. Um, of course, Norwich is a tricky place to go, uh, uh, and, and, and Rovers, uh, I'm glad, uh, fortuitous to get the result, moving us into the top 10 with a big, big week. Preston waiting for us right around the corner as well. So uh, and I, I believe uh, JDT's record against Norwich is pretty stellar as well. Of course, he, he, he was up against uh, uh, Wagner in the dugout for his first match, and he could also be there. He could bookend it here by him, him being the last match, of course. So it's looking that could be the case. Uh, in the Wagner era. So the Wagner era looks to be done. I don't know, though. We'll see. If he is to stay in the job, that'll be a big surprise because Norwich are down there and Rovers are around after 10th, of course. But uh, stellar performance. Again, we were, we were a little bit some question marks with this team news. We still have a lot of big players out. No Gallagher, no Hedges, no Dom Hyam. Three of our oldest players not involved. Uh, but of course, Smodic back to scoring ways. Love to see it. And of course, hopefully, um, hopefully there's more to come with Preston right around the corner. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon with this one. Uh, but uh, hey, it's only job, job happening. And we've got another big game before the international break. Preston off and again. Pete will be behind the camera for that one. Uh, I will be on the road listening in uh, as I go from Pennsylvania all the way down to Georgia. But until then, guys, make sure you bang the like, bang the subscribe, smash the little bell, of course. And we'll see you soon, guys, whenever we return for the next one. But until then, come on, Rovers, and keep on bloody winning.